Welcome to BU Spotlight. In today's episode, we're unveiling the magic of Leah Sacrin, the author of the captivating audiobook, Gusta and Gusto. Join us as we explore her life, inspiration, and the enchanting world she's created through the adventures of Gusta and Gusto. Don't miss this heartwarming tale of humor, poetry, and animal wisdom that bridges generations. For the full interview, check out the BU Podcast, and don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy the video. Now let's dive into this amazing chat. Yeah, that is a great question. And I believe I've really lived so many diverse ways one can live a life there also different attitudes, you know, I lived in different countries. And also with my heritage, I really encountered different ways one can see life. And um, this influenced me also a lot in my stories of Gusta and Gusto, who also actually encountered different situations and how they deal with different experiences. I think we live in a very special time. I guess everyone would say that from every generation that they live in a special time. But I think if you don't think of time, if you think that in the center of, of humanity and of this life on the planet, the important thing is that we connect. The nucleus is, is relations. And so if we just put at one point away stories, history, experiences, and we just focus on how do our different thoughts connect, we actually can really experience beautiful ways of finding new approaches within this life and actually also growing and developing. And I think the important thing is the connection and not the age. So we are actually within a big story within this life we are living, no matter which age. Plus, also, I think it's quite important that the different ages, there's sometimes also, you know, conflicts between generations. And I think with Gusta and Gusto, it is also like a, a model how actually friendship can... Um, can find place and can be lived. Augusta and Gusto, they're two rhinos, but they have very humanized emotions. But because they are rhinos and not humans, they also have the possibility to more have a playful approach with different situations. Um, and I think that is the important thing that Gusta and Gusto actually they have this liberty also just to kind of try new ways how to how to deal with situations and also to do it in a humoristic way or also with new forms of ideas because they're not humans. So we also as readers or as listeners, we have more possibilities to identify with them. And the humor they have is actually something which also give, gives this lightness, this spark and this certain breeze of salt to the stories and what they actually communicate in their wisdom to us. I think they chose me, I would say spontaneously. They just came. They were just here all of a sudden. And it was like, oh, okay. Hi, Gusta. So I'm going to write your story. But it was, there was a spark from the beginning. It was just like fell from heaven kind of thing. So I feel kind of like the secretary or, or yeah, the, the, the scriptwriter who actually, but those stories, they were always here, I think. I just wrote them down or I just narrate it as, um, yeah, in the audiobook. The voice, the how you the how you use voice, how you use feelings within storytelling, the form of audiobook, it is a form where you really feel touched within your soul. I think audiobook, it's a beautiful thing to to kind of drift off in your imaginations and 
it is also a form where you can, you know, you can dream. And if you go further, you can say, you know, you create dreams, you dream and what you imagine you can create. And through the medium of audiobooks, it is really something which goes very close and speaks directly, I would say, to the souls of people. They actually have a lot of friends, Gusta and Gusto, which also come from different countries and they visit them always in rhino country. And all of their friends, those animal friends, I think they would also have parts of myself, which I experienced in different countries, I would say, because all the characters, I'm also doing the voice acting, um, they are actually within me. Ludwig Bear Mountain is spoken by my daughter, and I'm very grateful for it. I just want to say that at this point also. But I think um, all the characters which are in there are also how they developed experiences which I had living in different situations, living in different countries, and um, being connected to different people and different forms of relationships. I think they will find the courage again to dream and to find hope and to know all is fine and it's okay to realize your dreams. I think that's what they can take. They learn to dream or they keep dreaming and they know that dreams can become real. So it's also about hope and of course about friendship and connections, connecting hearts and generations. Wow, wasn't that just incredible? If you're eager to learn more and dive deeper, make sure to check out our podcast for an in-depth conversation with Leah about her incredible audiobook, Gusta and Gusto. You'll find links to the interview and Leah's website in the video description below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and leave a comment. Your engagement truly makes a difference. And of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want more content like this. Thank you for joining us on BU Spotlight, and we'll see you in the next one.